Hello folks, well, this is uh, a little short video on making a gill net. I'm not going to make the whole net because uh, it, it takes rather a long time to do. But um, at the top of the net you've just got a single piece of cord like that. It could be a thicker bit of rope, you could do, you know, something like that. Um, and then over the top of that, now obviously to show you it's a bit easier if I pretend that this sticks the, the thick bit of rope at the top okay so pretend that's the thick bit of rope at the top because it's easier to show you the prissic knot now what we do is we cut as you can see we've got down here we've got sort of double strands hanging down and another double strand hanging down and so on and then um, I'll show you what happens down that end but in order to get our double strands going down from the top we cut we cut lengths of cord twice as long as we want it and uh, uh, remember to allow for the fact that you're zigzagging down so if you want a long net make sure that your um, you, 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 your cords a fair bit longer than um, you th than you want your net to end up because obviously as I say it's going to zigzag a fair bit because you've got your triangles or your gill net there Anyway, to make our prissic knot, let's supposing this is a, uh, that's one end of the strand and let's say we've got the other end of the strand down here and join them up. Now obviously I'm only showing you on a short bit but uh, we fold the top over and round so you can see it's like a little heart there and then pull that round there and so the front of the knot there you can see you'd have the two strands hanging down and then we'd slide that on our piece of cord or a bit of rope at the top and then we'd put another one on and another one on and another one on and space them eat fairly equal along the top I'll show you the top shortly but uh, let's just show you that knot I'll just I'll just do that again, I'll just get another bit of cord um, so there's our bit of cord fold it round the back like that pull it round the front and you can see there you've got the that going up and down there and then we put that one on there that'll be the next one and you, you can see how you kind of you'd end up with loads of them along the top which is what I've got, I'll show you that shortly I'm just going to take those off because that was just for to show you the way way you do the top with a prissic knot and then down the bottom here we've got uh, we've got our pairs of cord coming down now what we're trying to do is get a, a diamond shape apart from this end bit here you can see you've got a triangle there but the inner bits are like a diamond. Now, what we what we do is we go across one row at a time. So I'm going to take these two strands here and I'll try and keep that fairly. Uh, fa th th these two bits here, the same sort of distance, and I try and keep it so it's the same distance on all of them otherwise your net will go up and down like a yo-yo but uh, anyway and then hold the top there take the two strands and take it round underneath right pull it up and then feed these two ends down through the loop right try and sort of get it sort of as near tight as you can but not quite tightened up because then you'll need to do a little bit of adjustment before you tighten the knot up you usually sort of find one side so it needs a bit of adjustment just pull it up from the top and then pull the knot from the bottom and you can see there you've got the next the next bit in the net and so on and then you do the next one the same and then you repeat it again down down um down on the next 
next lot. Only obviously you have to remember on this, as I say, on the end bit, that bit's going to be short, and you're just going to have one length of the diamond and make a make a triangle there, and just keep doing that, and then put a a, a piece of cord at the bottom, and then what you do is you just sort of tie do, do a do it a bit round, and then sort of finish off with a knot on the bottom just so it keeps it all in place um, on a piece of cord at the bottom um, well, I'm just going to take the uh, take the camera off so that you can see the uh, the top bit there so if you can see the uh, you can see along the top there I've put a bit of bit of sheet behind so you can kind of get a better idea, a better view of it, but you can see it, you've got the prissic knots all the way roughly equally spaced along the top, and then off of each of those you can see there was two strands come in there, two strands come in there, pulled those together, did the overhand knot, went all the way along, and then the next level down, and so on, just keep going as I say, it does take rather a long time. It's a bit more of a academic exercise in how to make a gill net, um, ra rather than um, something you want to do. <laughs> it's sort of nice to know, but you wouldn't want to you you wouldn't want to make a big net like this, not unless you was um, got plenty of spare time on your hands. But as you can see, I've done a fair old bit. And uh, that's making a gill net. So, hope that's uh, interesting to somebody. Cheers for now.